Do you need to test your web application for reflected cross-site scripting vulnerabilities? I'm Daniel Lowry, and this is an IT Pro TV Quick Bite. All right, first things first, we need to find a vulnerable area or possibly vulnerable area. I've got my web application here and it's asking me for my username right here, just or what your name is. If it reflects that information back to me, I might actually have an area. So I type my name in, I hit submit. I do see the data I put in. You'll see I can put anything I want and it'll reflect that back to me, verifying that this is a good possibility that it might be vulnerable. So what I need to do is try to get it to execute some JavaScript. So I start opening up with script tags. I'll make it pop an alert box and I'll make that alert box say XSS. Close that out and then close my JavaScript tag with a slash script like so. Now, if I hit submit, if we see a pop-up box, which we do, we have verified that there is a reflected cross-site script vulnerability. So there you go. That's easy as that. For more information, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Daniel Lowry, and this has been a quick bite from IT Pro TV.